A little over a week ago, I introduced an experiment that we're getting underway with, which I'm calling the Zero Dollar Duckweed Garden. And it's only been a week, so who's to say how well it's working? But um, so far, every two days or so, I've been able to come through and skim off a pretty significant amount of duckweed. I've just been using these little containers to stir it up. Um, and then I can collect with fingertips here. And what I've been doing is every two days taking just about half of the duckweed that's on this and two days later it seems to cover back over. Now some folks have said, well you're going to run out of nutrient and that might very well be true. So that's easy enough. I could add some compost tea which we make in our backyard. But that's about the harvest I've been taking every two days from this tiny little garden. And of course this is a young experiment so we'll see. But so far with shallow water exposed to the sun and heat the duckweed seems to be growing really rapidly. Uh, the next video I do about this, I will be sharing notes. I just invested in, it's a small solar panel that runs a DC uh, air bubbler. So I'll put air stones in this, and when the sun is shining, when it's hot out, it'll be stirring and moving the material along. I was thinking about a water pump, but I think it's too cloudy, too murky, and I'd blow out a pump pretty easily without a lot of filters. So that's the next level with this, but really on this duckweed kick, I've added in some other interesting elements in the chicken yard. Let's take a look. So here we are about 30 feet away from that production facility on the driveway. And so I've been bringing in this duckweed. I throw it down for the chickens. Let's see if they even notice it. Hello, friends. <laughs> They've had a pretty full morning. I've been turning compost. We've both been putting out sprouted grain. Not the most impressive showing right here, but um, we can bring the duckweed to them. And as I mentioned in that other video, we have this very simple passive system, which is uh, rainwater collected off the roof, comes through a bed of wood chips and charcoal, goes into a hand dug pond that I um, basically paper mache with a mixture of wet clay and newspapers about three or four years ago. And that holds pretty well. This fencing keeps the, the chickens from going fully into the water and what they do is they belly up to the bar. You can see there's frogs in there kicking around. And so long as there's been good rain, they come up and they just eat what they can through the mesh. So it's a self-serve situation, which is nice, but we've been droughty a little bit lately. We just got some rain this morning, so the pond is swelling. That's great, but I added in this the other day. So a fair bit of an investment. This was a little bit over $100 for a new galvanized tank, but my thought is that this should last a while and we can use this in many different situations. I don't need to be straddling it so awkwardly. Um, and so what we've done is put in clean, fresh rainwater and I inoculated it with a whole bunch of initial duckweed and then these wooden bars and this mesh mean that the chickens can walk over this they don't seem to want to walk on this, but they can come up. There's no way that they can kick soil from the yard up and into this. So that should keep this water relatively clean and pure for them. And now we're noticing on both sides, they're coming up and they're picking through as much duckweed as they can. And this is another space that I can add a solar powered aerator. And what's nice is they can feed from both sides. And I can make adjustments with this design if I find that they're eating the duckweed too quickly and it's depleting the reservoir in the middle, I can either make this mesh go a little further to the end so they can only get a little bit at a time, or the other thought was to put a mesh vertically down into this water just a little ways so that there's a core population of duckweed that as it multiplies past the edge of the fence, that's what they can eat. But so far, about a week in, the chickens are eating from this every day a little bit. They're getting fresh, clean water while they're doing that, so this is a source of water for them. Um, and the duckweed population seems to be keep, uh, keep growing. So a couple irons in the fire there. We'll keep experimenting and sharing notes. Hopefully we grow enough that we can actually dehydrate that, and we'll be sharing about that if we can. Thanks.